Piping basket weave is the same sequence no matter which tip you use to make the basket weave. You can use just a straight round tip like I'm doing here with the tip number five. And ideally you would have your cake already divided into equal divisions and you would figure out where you wanted to start your basket weave and you would start it by piping a vertical line and then you would pipe the bottom line and then what I did there were spacer dots. I'm adding spacer dots so that I know where to pipe the next horizontal line. Um, I want to make sure that they're evenly spaced and in order to do that I pipe spacer dots and then I'm going to pipe my next vertical line on top of the spacer dots to kind of hide them and then it's just a matter of filling in the blanks in between the horizontal bars. Once you get one or two panels Piped, then it should be pretty easy to figure out how to carry on around your cake without having to continue to make spacer dots. But you definitely want to make the spacer dots for the first panel so that you know how to space the horizontal bars. It's actually interesting that this practice board sheet doesn't give you more information about making the spacer dots. The old Wilton practice board, the one that comes with the student kits, does give you the spacer dot example. But you can see once you have the first couple of panels down, um, it's easy to see where you need to pipe the horizontal bars. And I would know where to pipe the vertical bars if I was doing this around the side of my cake because ahead of time I would have divided my cake into equal segments using a cake divider wheel or some other kind of tool. And this is what basket weave looks like with the tip number five. You can also use a combination of tips. In this example, I'm going to do the horizontal bars with a star tip number 16, and I'm going to do the vertical bars with the tip number 5, which is what I used um, in the previous example. You want to pipe the spacer dots with the tip that you're going to be using to pipe the horizontal bars because the opening for the tip number 16 is a little bit bigger than the round tip that I'm using for the vertical bars. So using two different tips gives you a slightly different look. So basket weave is really just the same no matter what tip you use to pipe it. You always do your vertical bar first and then you want to start your horizontal bars at the bottom of the cake because you know that that's going to be level whereas the top of your cake may not be level and you just want to make sure on that first panel to pipe the spacer dots so you know where to position the horizontal bars for the next panel because they're going to need to go in between the horizontal lines of the first panel and then you just keep carrying on as you go along the cake or in this case the practice board. I think it actually looks pretty cool if you use two different tips to pipe the basket weave, but you could just as easily use the star tip number 16 to pipe both the horizontal and the vertical lines for the basket weave, and I'll do that real quick just so you can see what that's going to look like when it's done. And that's what it looks like when piped with the tip number 16. There are also tips specifically made for basket weave. This one is a 47. It has a smooth side and a serrated side, and you can use either or a combination of the two when you're piping your basket weave. The technique is the same. You do your 
vertical stripe and then you want to start your horizontal bars down at the bottom don't forget to put the spacer dots in so that you know how to space your first panel of basket weave with the horizontal lines and you can see I forgot to put a spacer dot there on the inside um, and I added it afterwards. Your second vertical line should be over the spacer dots so that you hide them and then you just continue on with your horizontal bars. You can see that I got a little bit close there with those two top ones. Um, that's because I forgot to put the spacer dot in but it's exactly the same technique regardless of which tip you're using. Just remember that when you're piping any of your lines to touch the tip to the surface when you end it, otherwise it'll come away like that one did there. You want to bring your tip back to the surface so that it attaches. And that's basket weave with the tip 47. Now I'm going to show you what it would look like if I alternated using the serrated side and the smooth side. I'm going to use the serrated side for the vertical lines and the smooth side for the horizontal lines. And as before, you just want to start off with making your first vertical line and then do your first horizontal line down at the bottom and don't forget the spacer dots. And there you have basket weave.